guys. We're having a lot of fun at the Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo. We've got the man, Gene Fox, here cooking up a storm. We've got Captain Richard with cold-blooded fishing, and we are doing a lot here today. We're going to be here all morning long. Gene, you're holding it down. You're cooking live for us this morning. What we got going? All right, we're going to make uh, fried grits topped with grilled speckled trout, and then we're going to do a little hollandaise sauce on top of it. That sounds ridiculously good, but when did you come up with this? Because I heard it was a late night for y'all, and you just kind of threw it together. It was about 11 o'clock last night, and we, Richard and I were sitting there and said, what are we going to cook? And this is what we came up with, and we think it's going to be pretty darn good. So. And just to get the usual check, we do this every year. You're going on about, what, two and a half, three hours of sleep this morning? It's it's a minimum of sleep. We, uh, we, we left late. We got here early, but we're having a good time. We're ready for the crowds to come down. And that's what the Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo is all about. It only happens once a year. You go all out during this weekend because it is so much fun. And as I mentioned before, we've got a boat over there that just came in. We've got another one coming in over here. Have you heard any fish coming in yet, Richard? Yeah, there's a, uh, somebody's bringing in a real good blackfish in a little while. Uh, hopefully it'll be, you know, 18, 20 pounds, something like that. be a good one to start us off starts off quick not bad and we also did you know Michael White's back at the studio he's the real meteorologist but we took a quick look at the radar might be a little bit of a rain to contend with today too yeah there's a little bit of coverage out there <laughs> to the west uh, hopefully we'll get lucky you know some people can bounce out get some good fishing in before it sets in it doesn't look like it's gonna uh, doesn't really look like it's gonna blow too. the winds not gonna blow too much but it's just gonna be a little rainy so now, yeah talk to me a little bit about that because you're a fishing expert when that rain comes how does it affect fishing conditions and what do you do differently uh, I I like the rain, especially during the tournament, because uh, it kind of weeds out a lot of the other anglers, you know. Uh, okay. So uh, so I like that extra. But uh, uh, actually, rain, it makes great conditions. Cloud cover makes great conditions for fishing, gives, uh, gives you a good low light condition, which uh, that makes the fish, they can't see the lure and the line and all that as well. So I, I love it when, when you got good overcast conditions. All right, and maybe weeds out some of the non-professional yeah. fisher people. Yeah. All right, sounds good. So with these grits here, how do you pack these together so they stay so, stay so tight like that? You know what the trick to it is, is you make your grits, you spread them out on a cookie sheet, put them in the refrigerator, and let them, let them just kind of sit. Okay. And then if you... Uh, if you weren't cooking outside on a dock, you might actually take a cookie cutter and make them nice and round. But <laughs> but we're uh, we're in rodeo conditions here, so we just kind of cut them up square. Yeah, but I know you feel that rodeo conditions are the best conditions all year round. Absolutely. Uh, every time. And if you take a look over here, not only do we see our photographer, Robert Brown. What's up, Robert? But if you take a look at here, this is where all the fish are going to come. They're setting up the boards for all the weigh-ins, all that good stuff, all the tagging, all the bagging, whatever you call it. They're going to be doing that all day long as the fish come in here at the Deep Sea Fish rodeo we're gonna have a blast i already tried some of this it is fantastic we'll check back in with y'all in just a little bit here all morning the world's largest saltwater fishing tournament awesome <laughs> and uh, joe i appreciate you emphasizing that i'm a real meteorologist i don't just play one on tv I didn't hear what you said, oh. but I'm sure it was some sort of sarcastic remark, so I'll just respond with, yeah. It, it uh -huh. was. When, yep. when, when you get home, just pull it up on the DVR. We'll check in with you later <laughs> in the hour, buddy. <laughs> well, Welcome back to Studio 10. All right, we are back at the Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo on Dolphin Island. The camera is creeping through the smoke. Take a look at this grill. This is sizzling hot. Richard, is this a little too hot to handle? Ah, man, we're going to be good. We got to cook fish real hot, real fast. That's how I like to do it. Captain Richard from Cold Blooded Fishing, you got some Tony Sacherets here. What are we doing with that? Yep, I'm just going to season up these uh, speckled trout fillets that I called uh, yesterday morning. And uh, obviously can't be out there this morning, but uh, we're going to drop a few on the grill here. Show you how to do it. So that's it. Just just the Tonys on it. That's it, man. I like to I like to use the kiss method. Keep it simple, stupid. Nice. You know. Yep. Yep. So you can't mess up with the uh, little Tonys and some butter on the grill. All right. Some butter on the grill. Some little Tonys. Now tell us about cooking speckled trout in general as opposed to other fish. What's different? What do you got to watch? How long do they sit on there? That kind of stuff. Uh, I, like I said, I, I don't like to leave it on there for very long at all. You can. Overcooked fish very quickly. Yeah. So, you know, just a couple minutes on each side, and it's usually, you know, I just you kind of use a fork, and when you can go through it with a fork, you're done. You know, it won't take long at all. And especially since it's so hot right now, we just had a plane fly overhead. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Big things happening at the Deep Sea Fishy Rodeo. Now, I asked you earlier about how rain would affect fishing conditions. What about strategy for some of these anglers out there? Do you go out there trying to catch one thing, or do you just whatever happens, happens? In 
I like to target one fish or a couple of fish all day long. Yep. And there's some people who will just kind of throw the whole tackle box out there, you know, yeah. and uh, and take whatever bites. But I like targeting speckled trout, redfish, flounder, triple tail, those three. Now, there's certain ways to target each one, but for the most part, you can catch redfish and trout the same way. Yeah, I know some of my friends of mine went out last night. They're trying to go after tuna, trying to get some of those. So that's what they're targeting specifically today, too. So a lot of different ways you can go about it. But what do we think? We're ready to flip these oh, bad yeah, boys? Let's do it. Let's do it. Whoop, whoop. Getting crazy. Getting crazy. Look at that. That nice little sear we got on nice there. Nice little grill marks on there. That's it. That's looking good. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to finish these. We're putting them on top of the grits, and then we got a hollandaise sauce we're going to go on top. But first, right now, they're having a dock meeting for the Alabama Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo. You can see them all over there. It's going to be a big couple of days here getting organized. Hey, dock meeting, what's up? Can I get a rodeo, 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 rodeo? Rodeo. See, it's a lot of fun here at the Deep Sea Fishing Rodeo. That's what we're doing. They are ready to go. Huge couple of days here on the island. We'll be back in a little bit. <laughs> Joe, I like the way you got the crowd all pumped up like that. Way to go. You got, you got, I'm the hype man. I'm like Flava Flav or something like that. <laughs> when you come back, we should just start doing that with the studio crew. We should just start getting everybody to just yell Studio 10. Not a bad idea. We'll, we'll see if we can make it happen. Yeah, we'll try. Thanks, Joe. We'll check in with you a little bit later this hour. And Joe Emer. J you nailed it. You got it. <laughs> Joe Emer, and he's standing by live in Dauphin Island. Joe, I really loved that uh, musician we had in our uh, last segment. I loved the dance you did at the end, too. Yes, uh, fellas, you were impressed with my dance moves as well, right? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, oh, yeah. yeah. I'm not going to lie. I do have some more in the tank, but I'm not going to bust it out this show. Maybe I'll save it for a future show. Oh, come on. Let's get down. It's rodeo. Well, you want to see, see a robot? <laughs> <laughs> It's probably the only robot that's ever been done at the rodeo. That's stupid. You know what's not stupid is this amazing food that we've been cooking. Gene, tell the folks who are just joining us what you've been doing. Well, we made uh, fried grit cakes. Uh, it's just grits rolled out, refrigerate them, and fry them in butter. Mm -hmm. And then uh, if you're lucky how enough. Much, how much butter did you use this morning? We used a pound of butter. If you're lucky enough to know somebody like Captain Ahab over here <laughs> from Cold Blooded Fishing, uh, you know, you get them to hook them and then you cook them. And, uh, it's just a little grilled trout, uh, grilled trout there. So, uh -huh. and then we made a nice hollandaise sauce to go mm -hmm. uh, on top of. And the hollandaise sauce is again pretty much. Uh, it's uh, egg yolks, butter, butter, uh, lots of butter. Pretty much butter. Uh, some lemon, <laughs> some uh, some cayenne pepper, and more butter. And more butter. And I, I kind of cheated with the blender hollandaise. We didn't feel like doing the double boiler on the dock here. Hey, that's that's no problem. Maybe next time. Can I try some of this Give out? It a shot. Is my plastic fork going to break? Just pick it up. <laughs> yeah, dude. What are we talking about here? All right. All right. So, Gene, while I take a bite of this, tell the folks to come on out and have a great day at the rodeo. Come on down. Uh, the way station's open from uh, 10 to uh, 7 today and oh, Saturday man. and uh, 10 to 5 on Sunday. It's free to come be a spectator at the rodeo site. Come down, check out our good-looking rodeo shirts this year. Mm -hmm. See everything there is to do on Dolphin Island. Free music all over the place. Do I have any butter in my face? No, you're looking good. Good. You're looking good. <laughs> All right. This is delicious, man. This is one of the best things I've ever uh, tasted. Uh, you guys want to sh shake and bake us up? <laughs> shake and bake! <laughs> shake and bake! Shake and bake, baby! We'll be back with more Studio 10 here on Dolphin Island. <laughs>